Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Random Pets Genetics Challenge! Here in the laboratory, where we are mixing and mashing together all sorts of different genes, including those of some extremely adorable Pikachu! It is Pikachu, you guys! Look at him! Oh my gosh, Kalino has done it again! Just in time to celebrate the arrival of a brand new Pokemon game with Pokemon Sword and Shield, which we will absolutely be playing on this channel, rest assured, we have Pikachu! Kalino, our wonderful, wonderful Sims 4 custom content creator, has put out a Pikachu custom content download that you guys can actually get right now in order to make a ridiculously adorable, super fluffy Pikachu with the tail! It's got the tail, you guys! Look at this! Do you see the little zigzag tail? Show that zigzag tail off, Pikachu! Oh my gosh, and the little stripes, the little cheeks. This is so ridiculously cute. I love it. So yes, this is a cat base in The Sims 4 that has been transformed into a Pikachu using Kalino's extra custom content pieces and some creative paint. Altogether, it creates yet another species that I am sure many, many, many of my Sims will probably get in the future. Just imagine when we can start making like different variants of Pikachu and different colors. Oh, that just tickles me. But the way that Pikachu really stands out is that Kalino has actually created a custom set of ears. So instead of like your normal little like, hmm, those are really small ears, you now have little Pikachu ears. Look at that. That is so cute. And those ears actually, I thought like, hmm, isn't there a set of ears kind of like that that Kalino made? And that's actually her like rabbit ears. But as you can tell, if you try to put rabbit ears on a Pikachu, it doesn't quite work. So she did a great job of making these little pointy ears for Pikachu and a very pointy tail for Pikachu as well. So you can have that zigzag look to the tail. And actually, I love this tail because I had a cat named Zigadora. We named her Zigadora after her Ziggy tail. Uh, Ziggy for short was her name. But Ziggy was really fun and she actually had spinal bifida, which is not a nice thing to have in cats, but we took good care of her and she was a all black kitten that had this zigzag tail and I freaking loved it. So yes, I'm very, very excited to have the little zigzag tail and I'm very, very excited to be able to have Pikachu. And I'm very excited that today, this particular Pokemon is going to find love, romance with another Pokemon, a Vulpix. And I'm really sorry that this is not the best Vulpix. I did my freaking best. We got a Vulpix off the gallery. I wish I could remember who made it. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, okay, I, I was looking at Meowth too, but shh, pretend you didn't see that. I'm thinking about that for the future. All right, but there's a lot of Vulpix out there who are actually based off of the foxes, which are really cool. But because Pikachu is a cat base, I needed to have a cat base Vulpix. And so it was actually this one right over here, Stealthfire19. Thank you very much. I grew up that Vulpix and I changed quite a bit about it. And we ended up with this lovely Vulpix with three tails. Yes, Vulpix are supposed to have many more than three tails, but we're going to pretend some of the other two tails are like hiding, or this Vulpix just is a variant that only has three tails. But this is about as close as I can get to a Vulpix with a cat so far. If you guys are able to get even closer to a Vulpix with your cat creations, including any custom content, do please let me know because I would love to see more Pokemon in our laboratory. There are so many options out there that we could be adding in, but I might need your guys' help to really make them look like super convincing Pokemon. That being said, I love our little Vulpix, okay? She is doing her best. She is very sassy. She really likes to, she's a little embarrassed that she doesn't have a swirly do on top of her head and that her tail is a little bit smaller than most Vulpix tails. But you know what? It gives her a very sparky personality that has really clicked with this very sparky Pikachu. So I imagine that these two actually met because this Vulpix has a bit of an attitude. She likes to kind of pick trouble. She likes to see where things are kind of going wrong. 
And I have a feeling that this Pikachu really loves nibbling on power lines because that's one of the problems that people have with Pikachu is that they adore nibbling on power lines. I mean, they're so good. They're just full of all of this yummy electricity that the Pikachu wants to eat. It does create quite a bit of a conundrum when you have a bunch of wild Pikachu in the city. And I think this Vulpix showed up when one day a fire started when this Pikachu nibbled through one of the lines and ended up starting a small fire. Quite the troublesome thing for really a Pikachu who's pretty laid back. He just really wants to find some good things to eat. And eventually these two got to know each other, you know, laughing, figuring out how they could cause a little bit of mischief, but not too much, always trying to help whenever they really did break anything. And uh, we're gonna let a little bit of a romance bud between them. And this should be really fun because we have two different sets of ears. We have these cute little pointy Vulpex ears, which are also a Kalino creature. Creation. And we have two different sets of tails. A Vulpix tail, which is a three tail at the moment, and this adorable little zigzag tail. So I'm really excited to see where this goes. And I'm really curious because this nose is so cute. I have no idea what we're going to end up creating. This could be science gone too far, or it could be ridiculously adorable, or we could just create an entire litter of some sort of fire starting Pokemon crossbreed. We'll have to see. Let's go ahead and begin. And as usual, my friends, if you would like to become one of the animals in our random, oh my gosh, this is so cute. We'll have to do a normal cat next time. Oh. But if you would like to end up becoming one of the Pokemon, or Pokemon, one of the hybrid creations in our laboratory, all you need to do is leave a comment down below and the random comments generator may pick you in a future episode. So let's go ahead and do this. Pikachu, Volpex, very first baby. <gasps> it's so cute! 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 Welcome, Lisa. Oh my gosh. Hello, little Lisa. Welcome to the family. So Lisa is in a loof, a free spirit, who's very clever. So I think, Lisa, you're just like scoring high on everything. You probably would make good friends with a Meowth, be able to figure out how to break into houses at an early age. I don't know why we ended up getting such troublesome Pokemon, but it just seems that's where the story is developing. It's so adorable. All right, let's go ahead and add in another baby. So Lisa's sibling, oh, so freaking cute. <gasps> a blind Vulpix, pardon? Okay, we ended up with a blind Vulpix named Lilby. Lilyby, Lilyby, welcome to the family. You are also a free spirit, but you are a bit territorial and very talkative. So you probably like patrolling your yard and really making sure everybody knows it belongs to you. It's gonna be fun to see if you like, we'll have either, I, I would say we'd have fire abilities if we have the Vulpix tail or we'd have electric abilities if we have the zigzag poke Pikachu tail. So it would be really cool to see like what we end up with. All right, let me get a new name and we shall add in another child. Are you all prepared? Oh my gosh, these little Pikachu crossbreed babies. We're gonna have to have a lot of fun with that. All right, carrying on. <gasps> another, whoa, a Volbex with red eyes and look at the little tiny Pikachu nose. Welcome to Rose. One of the names that you guys have suggested. Rose, absolutely beautiful. I'm really, I'm loving this actually. I can't wait to see what they grow up into. So Rose is also territorial. They really like to have their own yard in the city after all. They've probably fought like alley cats trying to defend it. And Rose is also a couch potato who's very affectionate. So as long as you stay out of her territory, she's gonna be pretty affectionate with ya. All right, then we'll have another little addition to the family tree. Let's do this. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have to have some other crossbreed kitten babies because this is so much fun. We'll do normal kittens this weekend, baby. All right, so we have Pikachu and Vulpix. <gasps> another blind baby. Oh my gosh, this is going to be Starfleet. So welcome little Starfleet, who swears that even though you cannot see the world around you, you can see the stars. We might have to take you to be like trained by some Clefairy, my dear. But this is a Prowler who's a little bit skittish and affectionate, which sounds precious. I just want to scoop Starfleets up and cuddle them. Look at how freaking cute they are. I absolutely love this. 
All right, let's carry on. We're gonna go ahead and see the next mix. Oh, that's such a cool mix. Oh, I can't wait to see the babies we'll end up having. Oh, purple eyes. That is so cool. So we're ending up so far three Pikachu type ones, two Vulpix type ones. I'm curious to see what we will have from the last baby, but this little one is going to be exotic. So exotic from Exotic Productions, welcome. I'm so glad you enjoy our series. They are just fun and simple. They're straightforward. You know what we're doing, but you never know what the results may be. It does give you plenty of opportunity to really just explore different characters too. I love the challenge of trying to build up a romance between each and every one of the sets that we have too. Their stories have really gotten a lot more complicated than I expected. But anyway, here we have Exotic the Little Pikachu. And finally, the last little member of this family is going to be... All right, let's see. Oh my gosh, we need to just do like a fun mix of... of Pikachu and other other oh <gasps> a gorgeous Vulpix with stunning purple eyes named Izzy welcome Izzy there we go look at them you guys and Izzy is a sleuth who is hairy and a bit mischievous so I think that these guys probably would make really good friends with like a Meowth, an alley cat Meowth who would live in the area and would teach him to break into old houses. That could be a lot of fun. Uh, I kind of feel that they would bring back Mama Vulpix, like a little treasure, like maybe they would bring her back all sorts of shiny things, like the little crown. <laughs> she likes that. <laughs> or maybe they would bring her back like a really elegant little, little shiny gemstone necklace. That could be cool, like a firestone. Maybe they'd bring her back a firestone and she could wear it around her neck and just like rule over the alley they live in. I love that. But all right, guys, let's go ahead and see what these little ones are going to grow up into. Will they have electric or fire abilities? Let's see. Lisa, you're up. Lisa, my dear, you are actually going to inherit your mother's ears. So let's go ahead and get those on you. All right, so you're gonna have your mom's ears, so not dad's, like, Pikachu ears. We're actually going to have mom's long curved ears. Let me find them, right here. Okay, that's kind of adorable. I didn't know I wanted pointy Pikachu ears. And then we are gonna have dad's tail. So we have electric abilities. Look at you, Lisa. Welcome to the family. You're very fluffy, I like it. All right, next up we have Lily. Ooh, very, very beautiful. Look at you go, Little Bee. So Little Bee is our blind Vulpix who actually is going to have Pikachu ears. <laughs> so we have little Pikachu ears, hopefully all the better to hear more with, and a Pikachu tail. So we have a Vulpix with a Pikachu tail, which I didn't know I wanted in life, but I kind of think this is a fun mix. Little Bee is going to really confuse people when they think that this wonderful Pokemon will be using fire attacks. No, it'll be electric. We'll be able to take them off guard that way. All right, imagine that. You'd be able to like go up against a water type and they'd be like, ha ha, fire type, and like try to use water attack on you and you're like, zing, use electric, boom. That would be quite the sneaky set of events. And then here's beautiful Rose. So Rose, let's go ahead and see what you grew up into. <gasps> Whoa, so pretty. Oh my gosh. I think I definitely need to see that Pikachu face on more of these animals because this is so gorgeous. But we're gonna have Pikachu ears on Rose and Pikachu tail. So another one of the hidden electric types who is looking like a fire type, but going to use the electric moves to confuse the heck out of everybody. But Rose, I think you have my favorite, the favorite facial structure. That's really stunning. And those rose red eyes. Oh, you never know what we're going to get from these mixes. Starfleets, ye who can see the stars, let us go ahead and see what you are going to have, little one. So you are actually going to have your mother's ears. There we go. All the better to hear the stars with. And you're going to have your father's Pikachu tail. So more or less a blind Pikachu who looks a little bit, a little bit eerie. Just enough to kind of make you wonder what it is that they really see. 
Ooh, that's actually a really cool mix. I like that. Then we have Exotic with the adorable purple eyes. Ooh, Exotic, look at you! Big old fluffy tail! This is a Chonky Boy Pikachu. Definitely a Chonky Boy Pikachu. And this one is actually going to have Dad's ears and Dad's tail! So we have Chonky Boy Pikachu, Exotic, who is uh, ready to go and start nibbling. Maybe he would just like start eating batteries. Can you imagine that? Like he would just go and find a bunch of batteries to kind of chew on. That seems like something Exotic would do. Forget nibbling daintily on power lines. He's gonna go straight for the source. All right, and then finally we have our beautiful purple-eyed Vulpix Izzy. Oh, you're cute. Oh, look at that, already has dad's tail. <laughs> That's so cool. But Izzy, you actually have inherited both your mother's ears and your mother's tail. So you actually ended up with teensy little tails. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but you ended up with fire abilities. So there we go, guys. This was quite the interesting mix. Honestly, I can't wait to see more of the Pikachu type on normal cats, so we'll definitely have to think about doing that next. But this was fun. Rose is really one of my favorites, and I love the idea of them being stealthy, like electric types, even though they look fire type. And it was really fun to at least try my best to make a semi-decent Vulpix, but I feel like there just could be so much more out there to offer. Hmm. But of course, today is the day of celebrating the adorable Pikachu and celebrating the fact that Pokemon Sword and Shield will be out soon and we will definitely be playing it. I am very excited about that and I can't wait to share those adventures with you. If you'd like to join us on those, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.